It's time to recap our week five game of the week, and boy, oh boy, was it a good one. We had the fourth biggest comeback in Nebraska high school football history and the first biggest comeback in Creighton Prep history. Creighton Prep and Millard West facing off in our game of the week. Jacob Jones starting quarterback for Millard West and Sam Meisenberg started her for Creighton Prep. And so early on, we just saw the defenses control the game. I mean, not much that any offense could do. Here we see a sack. Millard West just getting it done. And here we see another sack, this time by Tyler Jett, who's been a big playmaker on that defensive line for Millard West. I, of course, was here taking footage of this game. And here saw Jacob Jones use his legs a lot in this game. Kind of carried the offense on his back. Millard West actually did not have a passing completion throughout this game. <clears throat> And here we see a turnover as the defenses continue to play well in the first half. Our first score wasn't until the second quarter, and this play right here was a big part of it. A really good punt gets it down at the five-yard line. And here we see Sam Meisenberg sacked. They said he was out of the end zone, but the very next play they hand it off, and he is just wrapped up in the backfield and gets the safety. Miller West now up two to nothing. And Creighton Prep had to punt from their own 10-yard line because of a personal foul call. And Caden Williams makes guys miss and uses his speed. There's only about two minutes left in the second quarter. And he's going all the way down the sideline. Gets tackled at the five-yard line. And that would set up Jacob Jones from about the four. He just keeps it, and another good run by him. Crosses the plane, gets the touchdown. Miller West now up 9 to nothing, and they'd actually get the ball right back on an interception and knock in a 31-yard field goal by Nasser Nabolsi, and they were up 12 to nothing at the break. But here we saw really bad things for Miller West. Jacob Jones gets crushed on the sideline. He would be injured and would not return in the game. But here comes Brady Brow, a 20-yard touchdown run. Along the sideline, coming right in for Jacob Jones. Puts the Wildcats up 19 to nothing. And then, unfortunately, I didn't get the video of the touchdown. But here's a celebration. A Chase Holtman 39-yard touchdown to put the Millard West Wildcats up 26 to nothing. But here come the Blue Jays in the fourth quarter. Less than 10 minutes remaining. Rushing up the middle. Jack Stessman for the touchdown. Gets Creighton Prep back into the game as they continue to try to get in. And this time, handoff up the middle to fullback Max Sanders who gets past him, runs it in the end zone. They'd go for two and get it. So now it's 26-15. 26, 26 I know I was getting a little nervous on the sidelines. And now Meisenberg throws and caught over the middle by A.J. Rollins. And then it was tipped up and picked. But he had possession of the ball in the end zone. So it was a touchdown. And then here's the play that took the lead. Pitch out to Nathan Peterson. He loses it, and it's picked up by Ryan Carney taken all the way down the sidelines and Creighton Prep takes the lead 29 to 26 a huge comeback for them and then Brady Brow trying to get his team back in it with only about two minutes left in the fourth quarter throws and it is picked off by Alex Bullock and then going here to try to end the game they had to get a first down and they did throw back and so Creighton Prep comes back for a devastating loss to the Wildcats, 29-26.